What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own crazy beautiful samples that sound like insert whatever you want it to sound like let's just get straight into it all right so we're going to kind of dive into my process of doing this i always start off with just a basic piano and then i build from there using omnisphere or something so we're going to start in keyscape i have a random key signature pulled up i just you went over here i went to stamp i went to minor harmonic and i believe i stamped on e so we're going to go into keyscape we're going to make some keys and then we're going to go from there so let's go ahead and start on e let's go a bit higher let's see So let's run this. And our tempo is going to be at 140. So I'm going to let this chord ring out to the three. And on the four, I'm going to put another chord instead of putting all my chords on the one. So the one, two, three, four. I'm going to lay my second chord on the fourth beat. And I'm going to drag this over to here. So let's go over here. We have our first chord. And I kind of like how that gives it a little bit of suspense. And then we'll go ahead and resolve that. Okay, so that sounds cool to me. Now let's go Control A, Alt R to randomize. And let's randomize our velocities just a tiny bit. Now what we're going to do with this is I'm going to actually clone it. And I'm going to bring up an instance of Omnisphere. All right, so we got it open. I'm gonna go into my new bank that I'm working on and let's just copy this over and see what this sounds like. All right, this one sounds good. I like this bell. Let's go ahead and layer that in there. And then we're going to clone this, and I actually mean clone it this time. And we're going to find another preset in here. And this will be coming out soon. I'm still working on it. But there's a lot of cool ARPs in here for sure. Cool, that sounds good. Now let's bring in our piano. Let's kind of pan these a little bit like this. All right, now I'm going to add a lead from Massive with this cool little flute that I found. And let's see what we could come up with. Alright, that sounds good. So I like this. I don't want to do any more to it. It already sounds good to me. All I'm going to do is go in here to Edison. I'm going to record it. I know there's a million ways to do this. I say it in every video. So skip this part. I'll fast forward it. Let's hit record. So let's drag that into the playlist and let's do some EQ. Waves, uh, Crammer Tape. So the next thing I'm going to do is just duplicate this, make unique, and I'm going to pitch it probably down all the way. And I'm going to EQ out a bunch of the low end. And I'm going to get S1 by Waves, and I'm going to widen this a lot. And then blend it back in. Alright, so just a real quick video on how you can make your own samples and make them sound unique. 
You could do a bunch of different after processing. There's a bunch of videos on how to do that and I can make some as well. But this video was just kind of to show you my way of how I make different types of samples. Whatever type of mood I'm in, whatever you want to name this sample, that's why at the beginning I just, you know, left it alone and said you let let you fill it in because we're just here to create some nice samples, whatever they end up sounding like. So if you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. You guys can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit my site, lifestyledidit.com for everything else. New Kid Oblivion is out. Thank you to everyone who has purchased it so far. Other than that, subscribe to your boy. Push notifications. Thanks.